Okay, this is a quick video on how to get your hood open if it's stuck on a Nissan Murano 2010 or any of the models that have a similar latch thing. Hey, uh, this is me. Uh, you know, got my voice back a couple days ago, so I figured I'd make a video with it, see how it goes. All right, so what we had going on here is the latch. I took three bolts out. There's a bolt here, a bolt here, and a bolt there. I was able to get get at those by just drilling out the the grill. Used a whole saw, went through it. That's because I tried everything else. Like you can't see it from the bottom, you can't see it from the top. But folks are probably gonna want to know how does this thing end? Cut the loop. Just get in there, create whatever space that you need to cut the loop. Put a ratchet strap hook on it and pull it back. Like, um, I just use this ratchet strap here, wrapped it around a sledgehammer, got the hook on that, on that loop and yanked it out. And then, um, take a cold chisel and a sledgehammer, and I'll close the hood real quick. Like, if this thing was all down... cut it out because I'm going to replace the grill you're going to gonna spend money on parts anyway so this thing's all down see if I can put a light over here you can see right back in there right in here you just push that piece back through you push it back through the latch and that'll open it up enough that you can lift your hood out without it hanging up. I got that mine disconnected or reconnected right now, but I can just pull it forward and get it back open. It takes a little bit of wiggling after after that, but then you can get your hood open. All right, bear with me one second. Sorry, it just takes two hands to do some of this stuff. So you see your latch is still right there, right? Can you get in there? Can you see it? See the latch is still right there? So you have to push that out of the way. It'll move pretty freely. Push that out of the way, then you can open your hood up. Let me just grab it here. There. Reach in there with your hand, push the hood up. Now, you'll see everything's disconnected. Things that you'll want to check afterwards or this sucker comes out. It's got a see the problem is that everything's shielded the way they mounted it in here, so you can't get at it from below or behind. Then once you get this thing out of here, make sure that the grommet on the back is back where it goes in my, my case the cable had come dis had disconnected so I put the cable back through the loop and um yeah that's how you do it that's how you do it it's not a lot of fun it's it's frustrating but you can spend all day messing around with it and not get it like um grills are pretty cheap online so depends on what your time's worth there's a couple other solutions out there that you can try um they're not all going to work for you. It depends on what tools you have ready. Like um, if you don't have an air chisel, you're not going to be able to, you know, chisel that thing out there. And then you still got to go find that part. Don't know where you're going to find that. So just, just take out the part that's easiest to find, easiest to replace. All right. All right, you guys take care.